addict named Kent. I can't even begin to tell you how many times a day I asked, what is the key to recovery? I can tell you this, okay? I know what works. I know because I work my program. I work each and every day on my issues. When they come up, I do a 10. On every day, I do an 11. And I constantly do 12 throughout the day, helping those who suffer from addiction. <clears throat> the one thing I learned when I came in to Narcotics Anonymous, I screwed up my life and I messed it up bad. And boy, did I do a bang up job and screw my life up. Okay, I had two homes, I had a business, and I blew it. Why? Why? Because I wanted to use drugs. I could not get high enough. I could not cope with life on life's terms. I did not know how to cope on a regular daily basis with life. I had no idea on how to deal with my emotions, my thoughts, and my feelings as they were coming up, you know. Believe me, it's rough. But I assure you, I go through, you know, issues and problems. Okay, I don't have a perfect recovery. Okay, if you think that, you really need to give your head a shake, okay? Because I go through problems all the time, okay? Am I complaining? No. I'm just saying, okay? My life is not perfect, okay? My life is a living, sheer, breathing torture, okay? I go through emotional and psychological and physical pain on a daily basis. But I have God who is greater than myself and takes that problem, plucks it out of my life and chucks it away. When I let go and I let God and I'll tell you man when I heard that I wanted to punch him right in the mouth. You know I did. Tell me. How dare you tell me. Who do you think you are? Man, I was so cocky when I came into this program. You know, I'm very humble today. Okay? I have what I have because of the work I put in. I did my steps. I did my traditions. Okay? I worked my ass off to get here. Okay? Am I complaining? No, I'm just saying. When you're in addiction, how hard did you have to try to get your drugs? How hard did you have to fight to get money and things to sell to do your drugs? How many times did you have to do that? I bet you lost count. I bet you lost count how many times you sat there and said, Lord, just get me into this one one more time and I promise I'll never do it again. Only to go right back into the very next day. Why do we do that? Seriously, why do we do that? Stop it. Get off the miracle round. You're not a kid no more. Grow up. 
Time to put down little boy things and put on your big boy pants and your big boy socks and start acting like a person. Acting like an adult. Stop whining and complaining and growling and chewing and griping and complaining about everything that's going on around you. You can't do nothing about it anyway, so why worry about it? You know, there is one thing that I can fix in my recovery. That's numero uno. And even that I can't do alone. God had to fix me because I was so unfixable. <laughs> He's still fixing my head because of all the chemicals that I put in my system. Okay? I was using four and five times a day. Okay? I was not an easy addict to deal with. You know? I'd just as soon cut your throat, knock your head off, as I would freaking look at you and be my friend. I was a nasty, miserable jagoff. I really was. Today, I have a kind, caring, loving heart because of what God did for me. I make no bones about how I got from there to here. It was by the grace of God. And if you don't get that, you need to get that. Because it's the only thing that's going to stop you from going in and out and in and out and in and out. Rely on Jesus Christ and give him what you need. Then, when you fix here and do this, this journey from here to here, Look, don't think that you're horrible or terrible or not a good person if you have to go to treatment. All of us had to do that. We're not meant to face this alone. We're not meant to fight life's battles alone. When you go into battle, Okay? Do you go into battle alone with your sword and your 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 dagger and 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 your and your spear and your armor? You stand there alone against an army of a hundred? Are you insane? Seriously, give your head a shake. Who in the heck do you think you are? You think you're God's gift to humanity or something? No person is meant to stand alone. Do you think, how many have seen the movie 300? I'm sure we all have seen the movie 300. Do you think that that Spartan king could have destroyed that many soldiers by himself? If you seriously think that, you seriously need to get some help because it's impossible. The odds were 10,000 to one to win. The odds were staggering and out of this world. Yet 300 men destroyed millions they did not do it alone. And we are not meant to do it alone. Give that up. Do your steps. Go to meetings. Get a sponsor. Call them. Get numbers. Call them. Seriously. You're not a god. You can't do this alone. Look how you messed your life up. I'm speaking from experience. I know. I know. I've been there. It's tough. And as addicts, we can't stand change. Don't no change. Don't, 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 don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. Really? Change is a good thing. Okay? You're in a rut. 
constantly doing the same thing, is it not hurting banging your head against the brick wall? Stop! Get off the merry-go-round and find a new way to live. You don't have to do it alone. We're not meant to do it alone. We're social creatures. We're social human beings. I mean, I don't ascribe to the theory of evolution, okay? But if you look at that, okay, it's got merit, okay? But I don't believe it because I'm a supernatural being. Am I immortal? Oh, I wish! But I am a supernatural being, as are you and you and you and you everybody is we are all unique there is something different about each and every one of us and if you want to get right technical okay twins twins don't have the same fingerprints they are born in the womb together though that embryo separates and becomes two individuals it doesn't become one individual with two separate minds. Give your head a shake. Okay? It becomes two separate individuals. And they become unique in their own way. Look at twins. One is like this. One is like that. One does this. One does that. Yes, they dress alike. Yes, they act alike. Yes, they look alike. And sometimes you can't tell them apart. But... They are individuals. There's something different about them. Mom and dad can always tell those two apart. Every single solitary human on the face of the earth can't tell them apart. But mom and dad can. Not even the grandparents can tell them apart sometimes. But the parents can. Isn't that cool? It is cool, eh? So, listen. You are not God. You are not a superhuman being like you think your disease has told you. Okay? You're not. You are a simple human being who screwed up and messed up your life. And God can help you set that situation right and on the road to recovery. There is always hope. There are addicts in this world with decades because of this program. It works. God bless.